Hello there. It has been a while, but we uh, finally back with Gantan Impact. <laughs> I've really not been that much in the mood to play and I don't like to pass, but. <clears throat> with a big new update being out now, and uh, maybe some bit more content to explore. Why not go for a world at Mogak Genshin? And I also promised that I would um, play a bit more, so yeah. Also gotta keep my promises. <laughs> we won't do all the area exploration for the area 4.4 yet today. I will still save it for later, but we definitely look into JRE's uh, story quest. And maybe also get a look into the current uh, event, which is like about alchemy, the alchemical ascension. Depending on how long the Chiyori, uh, the Gisoria chapter takes. Um, yeah. We'll see. Um, but yeah. So I actually quite like Chiori's design and also from the looks of it, like combat style. I will wanna do one roll for her. To find it a bit I would say sad that she's a Chiyo character because at the moment I feel like Chi is still a bit like weak compared to other like um uh, team sets. But yeah. It feels like Gio is a bit getting rid of runners also of like uh, Navia and Shoryu and like many Geo focused characters coming out, but I... Okay, I already lost my 50-50. <laughs> Hello there again, Chichi. Um, at least I'm already got, <laughs> already got that. Um, all right. Getting a rust copy, okay. Check the job first because I don't think I already got every like of those yet from now. Yep. Just gonna pick that up. Mm, and also let's go for those. Last tempo for now. And that's it. Not sure you're How many ports am I in? Okay, this feels like this is totally the wrong really the wrong date. What the hell? Okay, the history didn't update yet. Okay, I didn't count how many balls are there, sorry. Mm. Well, maybe I'll get like a, a bit more primal gems and stuff for it. 
Um, we did get Chichi Kobe though, and other Kobe's. Chichi getting dangerously close to C62. <laughs> um, you turn on Dory. Sure. Pretty nice. Tea parties are a must for the well-mannered. If you'd like to learn the proper etiquette, I'd be happy to teach you. Yep. Also, feel like with Chiori, I feel like it may be a character I really want to build um, again because she seems hmm? a bit of fun. <laughs> I mean, I already have like a few more other like, characters who are pushed a bit, but I feel like I really want to like build Giori if I get her. But we will worry about pulling more for Giori later. And actually do her quest. Mm-hmm. Also nice hint, Tibet has his own laws. You don't say it, Sherlock. Um It seems like there's another event going on at the Court of Fontaine. Look at that. Roadside signs as far as the eye can see. Let's see what they're really okay I told you I could do it using the leftover funds from the original deposit don't tell me you're afraid that I cheaped out on the dress no not at all I have only the fullest faith in your work Miss Chiori I'm just in shock that's all it's always been my dream to wear a Chiori a boutique dress for my wedding I really thought the chance had passed me by no wait isn't that Chiori? She's actually at her shop today? Oh, you've got a point there. Well, once she's done with her customer, we can go and ask her. I'm a woman of my word. If I say I can do something, then it'll be done. The first rule of business is to always keep your promises. That's true. Now, remember to not fold the gown or store it under direct sunlight. I'd recommend only taking it out on the day of the wedding. From the look on your face, I can tell that may be a little difficult for you. <laughs> oh, I'll try my best. <laughs> Once he sees me in this, his jaw is going to drop straight to the floor. Chiori, you're actually at your shop today. Is that really so shocking? It is mine after all. Anything all you're true. looking for today? A custom design or perhaps some ready-to-wear outfits for kids? <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> Kid. <laughs> You're pretty much kid sized, though. Oh, that. Well, if news of the event has reached your ears, I suppose the Fontaine Apparel Association's advertising efforts have paid off. Are there any fun and popular activities that we can take part in? Ugh, fashion Week isn't what I'd call fun. But it certainly always attracts a crowd. It's a fashion extravaganza that only takes place once a year, after all. Will you be showing off some of your designs, too? Of course. All designers at the Court of Fontaine use the week to advertise their brand. If you're lucky, you could even land a large amount of orders as soon as the main show ends. Come to think of it, it was also at a previous fashion week that our label first took off. That's sweet. Aren't you pretty much an established name now? People will still buy your clothes even if you don't participate this year, right? Oh, is that not too Yeah, that's not quite how it works. 
While many people buy clothes for fit and style, the fashion industry also strongly values a label's artistic vision and creative direction. Why would anyone patronize a label that hasn't even bothered to put out any new designs for the year? In the end, fashion is just a representation of the spirit of the times. People support your brand because they support the vision it represents. Huh. Okay, so maybe fashion's more complicated than Paimon thought. <laughs> uh, all that yeah, I'm not really aside. much into the fashion you stuff myself. See new Chiria designs at the show? Absolutely. The designs have already been finalized. I'm just waiting for the fabrics to arrive. Ooh, are you using materials you can't get in Fontaine? Well, I still have a certain partiality to Inazuma-made fabrics. The textures are pleasant to the touch, and their familiarity gives me a sense of security. Oh, Paimon gets it! It's that feeling of home! Ugh, something like that. <laughs> We're a long way from Inazuma, though. Aren't you concerned that your shipment might get lost or stolen along the way? Uh, not with Kiara on it. No need to worry. I've already taken steps to ensure that it'll arrive safely. I've entrusted the job to Komani Express's most reliable courier. Excuse and me. speaking of the devil. Coming through! Coming through! Chiori, your, your shipment's here. I know it's quite late, so I'm oh, really, really sorry. Deep breaths, Kirara. Then start again. Oh, so Kirara's the courier you were talking about. Oh, hey, Traveler and Paimon. Fancy seeing you here in Fontaine. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe next time. Uh, considering how late this delivery is, I'm not sure this is the time to play cards. Plus, I know this shipment is really important to Chiori, so I should probably make sure everything's in order. That's Wait true. a second. This is the second time that you've seen me flub a delivery job now, isn't it? Oh, you somehow always happen to catch me off my game. <laughs> so, what was the holdup? Sailing delays, bad weather? Huh? No, nothing like that. I just ran into a bit of trouble, that's all. Bandits, then? Or treasure hoarders? Hmm. A few run-ins on the road aren't usually enough to give you any trouble. Uh well, I didn't run into anyone exactly. I just got a little lost. Your tales always betray her when she's lying. Keeping you honest as always, I see. Uh, all right, all right. I was stopped by a group of bandits as soon as I entered Fontaine. They were a little different from the ones I usually run into. I could hear them mumbling about Comania Express. It was obvious they were looking for someone with two tails so it was a targeted hit uh i got the sense that they were actually targeting chiori's goods my yeah. fabric shipment yeah they said that i could go as long as i left the goods with them otherwise they'd stuff me into my delivery box and toss me into the sea to drown oh, wow so Someone targeted her for like, um, yeah, making a mess out of Chiori's business for fashion week, I would say. And hey there, Johnny. Welcome to the chat. Oh, are you okay, Kibara? I mean, she's here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm still a yokai after all. I I'm doing good. How gods. about you? It just took me a while to round them all up. Well. It's not completely out of the ordinary for one of your deliveries to get intercepted. But it still doesn't make sense how you knew it was my goods they were after. You've got other deliveries to make in Fontaine, don't you? Is there something else that you're keeping from me? Huh? Um... Well... <laughs> Perhaps I need to reconsider how many stars to give you in my review. Uh, you always know how to get me, Chiori. Alright, I'll talk, I'll talk. Um for Yeah. 
five and a half, almost six months now. <clears throat> so, I kind of wanted to know why anyone would order a hit on me, so I spent a bit of time investigating. One of the bandits had a loose tongue, which saved me some time. He said that a certain person had commissioned them to intercept Chioria Boutique's delivery. And who might this person be? Uh, Chiori? Why don't we just let this one go? I mean, I didn't really get injured, and you've still got Fashion Week to worry about. I appreciate your kindness, Kirara. But if I don't teach this person a lesson, I doubt they'll stop here. I'm guessing Kiara kind of, uh, is getting concerned about what Chiori might do to that person. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think she would be uh, as hesitant as she is being right now about telling her. Um, I am already using your YouTube model, as you can see. Hey, Rick. I'm no good. Also, Johnny, if you're trying to advertise, don't do it. Anyone that dares to mess with one of my friends deserves a stern talking to and then some. All right. The guy said that the commissioner was someone by the name of Uter. Uter. No, that name rings a bell. Wouldn't you say, Kirara? Well, that's exactly why I didn't want to bring it up to you. So you both know this Uter guy? Through Chiori's complaints about him, sure. He's a fellow fashion designer who's made it his goal in life to make hers as miserable as possible. Ah, oh, so he's like a business rival. A rival is what you call someone who fights you fair and square. True. Uter, however, just has it out for me as a designer. He's publicly disparaged my design choices, my use of materials. <laughs> he's practically tried every trick in the book to ruin my good name. Sounds like he's just challenged of its success. Like compete with me fair and square, but I guess he prefers playing dirty. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige. Wait, Chiori, where are you going? To teach someone a lesson. You must be tired after your long journey. Why don't you rest in my shop for a little while before heading back? Chiori, wait! <laughs> she's gone. Oh no, what should we do? You seem concerned. Should we be worried about Chiori? Well, she's always been the type of person to face things head on. But with her fiery temper, I'm just worried whatever she's about to do will feel negative publicity about her right before the start of Fashion Week. Traveler, Paimon, could you go after her and check out the situation for me? As a formal employee of Comania Express, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to get involved. All right, well, be intermediary, I guess. Yeah, we'll take good care of Chiori. Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I'm more worried about that Uter guy's safety. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least what I could see from, like, the character trailers, um, like, suspecting she has some kind of, like, background as an assassin. Like, as a professional assassin. So, yeah. No wonder she is, like, uh, scared of what Chiori might do, but hey. Hmm. Shepherds. chance you're on the clock, officer. <sighs> Nothing good ever comes out of you addressing me like that. Oh? And I see the Traveler and Paimon are here too. Shepherds, we meet again! Well, things have been fine on my end. 
We were able to bring in a large number of recruits thanks to that film we made. I suppose the trade-off is that I'm now constantly getting stopped for autographs while out on patrol. Not ideal, if you ask me. Yeah. Well, you were one of the that can be annoying. After all. So, did something happen? Indeed it did. I'll need you to come with me. <laughs> I only ever hear that phrase from you. Usually I'm the one asking people to do that. Well, are you coming? Not before I know what you're planning. <laughs> have I ever made a bad call? The better question is, have you ever made one that didn't violate proper procedure? <sighs> okay. A man hired a group of bandits to mug my friend. I'm about to go teach him a lesson. Are you sure this is something you should be telling the captain of the special patrol? It's getting hard to tell whether you're here to report a case or turn yourself in for one. <laughs> Neither. I'm requesting personal supervision from said captain, so I don't do anything too out of line. Are you planning to? Not if I can help it. <sighs> Push that for us. All right. Where is this person? Follow me. Just promise you'll start trying to keep yourself out of trouble. Well, when trouble stops coming my way, I'll be sure to get on that. <laughs> I got a light cherry. She's cool. This should be the place. You all wait here. I'll go have a chat with him. You know, Chevras, Paimon gets the sense that you two are actually pretty close. It's just as Chiori said. We got to know each other pretty well in our lines of work. You could call it a you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours sort of situation. Does Chiori often need your help? say it's mutual the special patrol needs her help quite often as well we've got tough problems of our own getting people to talk for example the uniform the musket they're intimidating most people clam up the minute they see us lips sealed so tight getting them to talk almost feels like trying to break into the fortress of Maripede. but put them in a clothing boutique and they suddenly start gushing faster than the waters at the fountain of lucine oh is it because they're trying to show off or something Broly. Yep. People are vain creatures. They can't help but want to talk up new developments in their lives or show off how much they know about other people. And nothing brings out that sort of vanity quite like fashion. As a mm. result, Shiori often picks up on all kinds of information in her shop. Most of her customers are members of the upper class, which means they're pretty much up to the gills in wealth and intel. Well, it's all like you usually appeal. At least like... <laughs> my experience, people of my profession and also like to gossip a lot. Um, do I stream daily? Uh, not probably. I do like take a few days in a week to just do like a break or sort of some sort of such. Um, mostly depending on if I like feel well on a day or not. Uh, so it's not like kind of set in stone. And I also stream like um on two places and they actually stream in german and in english so it's split up between those two channels so yeah also please do not advertise in my chat thank you very much my back and I'll scratch yours. Huh, Hyman gets it now? Exactly. I'm also here to ensure Chiori's safety. Those who make trouble for her also tend to be rich and powerful. And in some very rare cases, I'm forced to protect other people from Chiori herself. <sighs> so, who got on her case this time? It's been a while since I last saw her that angry. I said not to advertise in my chest. Uh, chat. Uh, 
Okay. I wish also Twitch would fix its issue of having like loading for loading issues for us like individual stuff. Oh, so this is what happened. Huh? Uter, you say? You've heard of him? Yep. He's made trouble for Chiori several times already. He's fond of pretty much every dirty trick in the book. I heard that even the Maison Guardianage issued him a warning due to his behavior. So he's back at it, huh? His funeral, I guess. Whoa, what's this about a funeral all of a sudden? <laughs> I just meant that Uter's done for. Now bring it in, you two. Get right up close. Uh, sure, but why? Because this is probably going to turn into one of those very rare cases I just talked about. Hey there, Uva. What are you doing? Stay away from me! Has anyone ever taught you the definition of stupidity? Huh? Stupidity? is doing the same meaningless thing over and over again. It appears you've forgotten what I told you before. So, allow me to refresh your memory. Lay off the dirty tricks. <coughs> oh, and if you dare lay your hands on my friend again, you can expect a far less pleasant landing next time. Ahem, <coughs> Chiori? <laughs> <coughs> Officer, an assault's in progress! Please, officer, you've got to do something! Of course. I'll do my utmost to investigate the situation. Unfortunately, I was chatting with this traveler and seemed to have missed what happened. Not to worry, though. If you'd allow me to search the scene, I'm sure I'll be able to collect some useful evidence. You don't mind, do you? There's nothing in there that would implicate you in any illegal activity, I would hope. I... Gah, forget it. It wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> it is Chiori. I must also ask you to refrain from engaging in such disorderly conduct in the future. Especially out in the open like this. <sighs> Apologies, officer. I guess you could say I'm just used to tossing out any trash I come across on the street. You... Yep, she's is right there about anything it. else either of you have to say for yourselves? That's all from me. I sincerely hope that today's events will never happen again. We'll see about that. Whoa, that scared the heck out of Paimon! How did he just go flying out like that? I feel like Paimon easily gets scared by stuff. You're too kind. <laughs> Now's not the time to be accepting compliments. What happened to not doing anything too out of line? Oh, not if I could help it, is what I said. And I think I kept to that. I started with a verbal warning, but he displayed neither shame nor remorse. If anything, he kept running his mouth with insults and threats. 
Insults and threats so bad that he deserved to be tossed out like a sack of trash? Believe it or not, they were that bad. He deserved to get knocked down a peg. It's the only way to get him to stop. You could have reported him to the guards. I feel like at this point, the only way to get him to stop is like actually lock him up. If he's like, if he's kept him like repeatedly doing this. Yeah. Oh, I will. But it'll take some time for them to gather evidence. And he denied that he ever had anything to do with those bandits. I don't want anything else to happen during Fontaine Fashion Week. On top of that, if Kirara is going to continue delivering goods for me, the least I can do is guarantee her safety. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. There is another favor I'd like to ask of you today. Hmm, what a shame. I believe you've already used up your favor quota for the day. Have I? Well... It's a good thing I was planning on taking an advance on tomorrow's quota, then. Don't you think you're maxed out on advances already? I always <laughs> pay you back in information, don't I? It's just like you said. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. Well, try for us. <laughs> I guess in that aspect, jewelry is really hard to deal with, but... I mean, I was kind of sent you for doing what she does, so. <laughs> I mean, she always seems to know what she's doing, so it's not that bad. We're back. You were gone for an awfully long time. Please tell me nothing bad happened. There's nothing to worry about. All you need to know is that you'll never have to worry about someone in Fontaine messing with your deliveries again. Uh, For now, at least. Sorry, Chiori. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. What are you talking about? You didn't do anything wrong. Those greedy bandits are to blame. Along with a certain someone who doesn't know when to lay off the petty tricks. The next time you need to leave the city... Call the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They'll escort you half of the way, and the Spina di Rasula can take the second half. With that sort of escort, the next time you make a delivery, those treasure hoarders won't go anywhere near your goods. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's to offer to carry them for you. <laughs> uh, good one, Chiori. I'm being serious. You know me. If I bring something up, you can assume it's already a done deal. You're going back to Inazuma tomorrow, right? Wait, you don't mean... I've already spoken to the captain of the special patrol. As discussed, the patrol's going to take a small detour during their daily training tomorrow. As for Navia, I'll give her a heads up in a bit. There's really no need. I'm just a simple courier. I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of armed guards. Or ones with sunglasses, for that matter. <laughs> don't you think this is a bit much? <laughs> well, you certainly shouldn't count on such a procession for every trip you make to Fontaine. It's just a one-off thing, for my own peace of mind. It'll also show those guys what'll happen to those who dare to mess with my friends. Yes, well put. <laughs> well, if you think it's a good idea, Traveler, then I guess it's fine. Well, with the bad guys out of the way and your goods safely delivered, everything should be good to go for Fontaine Fashion Week, right? I believe so. I'll try to churn out a few more outfits over the next few days. I've heard a lot of suppliers will be participating this year. Pylon's gonna take a guess and say if suppliers are super important. But of course. They supply us designers with funding, equipment, factory access. You have to work with them if you want to become a truly renowned fashion house. That's also why this year's Fashion Week is so important to me. But isn't your brand already really famous, Chiori? Your clothes are so pretty and so nice to wear. I can't help but brag about them to my customers whenever I get the chance. Even so, I would imagine there are still people who've never heard of the Chioria brand, yes? I guess Kiara is being a like, good PR for her since she's like, I mean, she has an outfit I've modeled on her, but her default outfit 
is made by Chirori. So yeah. Kara is probably good PR for your Chirori, especially if she's bragging about her outfit in front of her like customers. <laughs> Which is a weird thing to do, I'm not gonna lie. Unless tries. Okay, unless like they actually like uh, comment on her outfit. But yeah. Well, I mean, with the amount of places that I deliver to, it's only natural that some people from other nations haven't heard of it. Then it's still not famous enough. My goal is to make the Chioria brand renowned throughout all of Tibet. That's quite a lofty goal. Your business would have to get pretty huge then. Wait, would that mean I could just go to any Chioria branch on the continent to get my clothes fixed? It has been pretty inconvenient having to come to Fontaine every time I need to get them patched up. Alternatively, of course, you could just be a bit more careful with them. They're already about as durable as I can make them. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, they do get snagged on branches pretty often, but I can't help it. It's hard to be careful about that sort of thing when you're trying to take a nice nap in a tree. <laughs> well, Why would it nap in a tree, though? Chiori, then we should do our best to make it a reality. Is there anything we can do to help out with Fashion Week? Hmm. I'm sure I could think of something. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Why don't you come to my shop tomorrow and model for me? Simply put, you'll serve as my living mannequins. Oh, so we get to try on some of your clothes? Got it! Seeing them off the rack will also give me the chance to make some small adjustments to the stitching and the silhouette of the designs. Sounds easy enough! No need. We've already booked the models for that. Aww. If you like them, though, feel free to visit the boutique and see if anything catches your eye. I'll even give you a special discount. I would mess with would actually get outfits from her. Then we have a deal. You'll model some formal wear, traveler. And I don't know. Paimon here will show off some kids' designs. I'll see you both tomorrow then. Yep, sounds good. Wait. Kids clothes? Paimon told you already she's not a little kid. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gotta wait one day. Of course, we always do have to wait. Oh, wait. I waited a bit too long. Uh. I really don't like this waiting mechanic. It's so arbitrary. Chiori, we're here! Uh, you're here early. I haven't even opened the shop yet. Wait, has Kiwara left already? Yep, with the special patrol. Bright and early. Did everything go all right on the road? I believe so. The patrol makes for quite the entourage. The way they marched forward with Kirara in the center, you'd think she was some sort of VIP. For the second leg, the Spina also came with a pretty large group, led by Navia herself. They took care to clear the path beforehand as well. Kirara won't so much as step on a single stray rock on her journey. I even heard that Navia decided out of the blue to make a batch of macarons as a going away gift for Kirara. An excellent souvenir to remember Fontaine by, I'd say. Thank you. I mean, um, this said something there, not arbitrary, but uh, just unnecessary. 
That's what I meant to say. <laughs> kind of messed up my words there for a moment. Sounds like Navia really got into it. My thoughts exactly. She even lamented the fact that she didn't have time to prepare something even fancier. I'm pretty sure she can't wait for another escort opportunity to come her way. <laughs> you know, now that you mention Navia, Paimon thinks the two of you are actually pretty similar. You say what you mean, and when you have an idea, you really hit the ground running. I suppose that's why we're such good friends. Navia has a certain resilience about her. It's part of who she is. No matter what comes her way, she never bows down in the face of adversity. That sort of determination and courage is something I really admire. That same spirit is the true vision of my brand. When she first mentioned commissioning an outfit from my boutique, well, I'm sure you can imagine my excitement. It's like finding the perfect brand ambassador, huh? Indeed. Customers pay attention not just to the clothes, but also to the figures in society who wear said clothes. People like to copy the styles of those they look up to. Huh. And here Paimon thought all that mattered was for the clothes to look cute. Fashion is about more than just looks, my dear. Especially if you've got your sights set on a market the size of Tibet. Hmm. Well, would you look at the time? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get down to business. We're here to model. Indeed. Give me a moment while I go retrieve some fabrics and sample outfits. Why don't you help me set up the shop displays in the meantime? Hey, thank you for the wait. Uh, wait. Come on, it's not working. Uh... Why did it? Wait, what? Not sure why it is catched here for like blocking your message. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. I feel like my bot is broken right now. What's the issue with this? Huh. Okay. Ah, hmm. Okay, I see the issue. Sorry about it. I'm gonna quickly fix this. Um, my bot is detecting something wrong, and I didn't expect that it would like react like this. Sorry about that. Let me fix it for a bit. Uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was on time audio, sorry. Um, I really didn't expect that to happen. I gotta adjust my uh, filter a bit because um, what I like, I feel put in the filter to play, uh, like to blacklist like OF and it's like blocking you because you have OFF in your name and I didn't consider that. <laughs> That's why I time ordered you, sorry about that.
because like I have a lot of people like just randomly coming to chat and like advertising stuff and so I wanted to block that but I didn't consider it would also like do it for names and that but yeah <laughs> <laughs> is that welcome but still thank you for writing and the follow I am um, certainly not how I planned it to be <laughs> hey, why is it still catching you I actually avoided it. Why is it still catching you? Stupid bot. Huh. This is weird. I know. It said it time out you, but you're untime outed. Did the bots fix it? I guess it took a second for it to actually figure out the changes. And hey there, Emily. I'm doing alright. What about you? Yeah. Well, alright, mostly before like having to fix technical issues with the chatbot. <laughs> 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 Um, I'm not properly streaming play or like setting have set up a proper schedule. Um, many for the reasons I do take like a few breaks in between. Um on like days where i don't like really feel like streaming that much and also since i'm like streaming on two different channels in two different languages so i've separated a bit by that you know everything's working with the bot now sorry for like the technical issue stuff set them up uh how exactly just Carefully organize the ready-to-wear clothes with an eye toward their types and styles. This way, we can guarantee that the customers will see something different every day. Um, I'm from Germany. And I do a stream on YouTube in German. Oh, there sure is a lot that goes into running a store. Well then, I'll leave the displays to you. For about five and a half to six months. Uh... Not bad. 
You might just have an eye for design. Anyway, it was so easy. Let's move on to the real task at hand. Over here, stand still. I'll take your measurements first. Um, excuse me, Miss Chiori. Oh, good morning, Leanne. How have you been recently? Uh, not too bad. Your gown will be ready next week, so there's no need to worry about missing the ball. Or did you come here today because you'd like to make a new request, perhaps? Oh, no. Nothing like that, Miss Chiori. To be honest, I came here today to cancel my order for that gown. Mm. Well, sure, you can ask away. As long as you're not trying to advertise stuff like the uh, other people before. <laughs> As long as you keep it within chat rules, so to say. But that should be obvious. Uh, cancel your order. Uh, but you can keep the deposit, of course. I know you can't return any materials you've already used. Don't worry about the materials. I'm more concerned about you. Did something happen, Leanne? Have your plans changed? Um... Okay, I already stopped there because I said don't advertise yourself. And I already count that as advertising yourself. It's alright. I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I'll take note of the cancellation. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Is it just Paimon, or was she acting a bit strange just now? I wonder why she wouldn't tell us why she was cancelling her order. It's not a big deal. These things happen every once in a while. A family emergency, an important payday falling through, a lover's quarrel, no one to take you to the ball. I've pretty much heard it all. Judging from the look on her face, something's keeping her from revealing the truth to us. It's best not to pry. Well, guess this means you'll have more time to work on Fashion Week, right? That's true. Come, let's pick up where we left off. Is Miss Chiori in? I am. How can I help you? Um, I'd like to return this item. Oh, could I ask why? It's just, um, not to my liking. You said I could get a refund if I wasn't satisfied, so that's why I'm here. Is there something about it that didn't meet your expectations? Are the sleeves too short? Or is the color too dark? I can always make those adjustments for you. No, no need. You don't have to concern yourself with that. I'd just like that refund, please. And I'd be happy to process that for you. If you could just tell me the cause of your dissatisfaction. Is Chiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. Mm. Another one? This is getting is there sus. some sort of new calamity coming that I haven't heard about? Another flood? Or an apocalypse, maybe? What does the prophecy say this time? You'll be spared if you get rid of all your clothes? Surely the entire population of Fontaine didn't convene and pick this one day to come and return my clothes. What is going on? <sighs> what kind of rags are you trying to sell us, huh? The way I see it, this shop is nothing more than a black market front run by a bunch of dirty criminals. Please calm down, sir. Uh, what is he talking about? Haven't you heard? Shioria Boutique has been exposed for having close ties with criminals. It's all over the papers. And just who is it that dares to throw that accusation around? Well, you tell us. The fabrics you've got here. They're all sourced from underground factories, aren't they? I've been transparent about my materials from the very beginning. I've already proved there's nothing wrong with them. If a little hearsay and baseless slander are enough to convince you, then by all means, go ahead and hand over your garments right now. Spare yourself from that flood of yours. Or have you not been convinced of that one just yet? You... Miss Tiori? 
Go outside and help these customers with their return requests. There's no need to ask them why. We'll refund them at the purchase price. Uh, all right. And once you're done, put up the sign that says we're closed for the day. Got it. Hmm. Chiori. Why is my bot still doing that? I'm getting really annoyed with the board right now because it still keeps like doing stuff. It's not supposed to. I also can't untime out you because Twitch is not showing me that when I click on your profile that you're time out it. Uh This is such a stupid issue right now. Is there not like an option to like probably like reconnect and let it properly update? Yeah, we're just going for now. I'd we'll like to probably check that out after the stream because like it won't fix itself during the stream as it looked like. I don't wanna like waste too much time on that. They couldn't be more fabricated if you tried. No need hey to there, rabbit. them. I'm sure they'll go away on their own in a few days. I don't know why I fall besides that like my chat ball is making uh, trouble, but hey. What do do if I'm on Joe Live like um uh, skin mods installed? The real goal here is to divert my attention away from Fashion Week. The best response right now is to tune it out and focus on finalizing my designs. If you say so, but Paimon still can't help but worry. The best way to respond to public skepticism is to let your work speak for itself. There will be no doubt about the quality of my work once my new designs are released. The public just has to see it for themselves. Miss Yuri, bad news! Oh, for the love of... Can a woman not get a moment of peace to do her work? Go on. What's the matter now? It might be inspired for students to know the outfit, but I don't think it's the uh, proper same one. I also have like, in case you're like looking for like 
credits for any of the like modders who did that. I actually made a Google spreadsheet um, j just for like having one place to like probably credit all of them. Because it would be like a bit much to put it all on stream somewhere. <laughs> Our accessories supplier. They just sent word that they'll no longer be able to supply us during Fashion Week. What? Uh, no accessories? Not even the ones we pre-ordered? Well, it's just with a big ask, Chris, to do have a bit of risk of getting when since it's like not actually like supported by Kenshin, but um, you don't usually don't get banned for just like uh, using the tools itself because they can't really check for that. But you still have, like, to be, be careful. There's still, like, the potential danger of, like, getting banned for it. But yeah, I'm taking that risk. <laughs> yes, that's what their messenger said. And what about the models we asked them to book for us? I think they'll probably pull out as well. Even the suppliers believe those nasty rumors? <sighs> Is the messenger still here? No, they've already left. So, no accessories means no brooches, no bow ties, things like that? Not just that. It means no gems, ribbons, gold thread. All the elements that lend life and soul to my designs. But if you take those away, does that mean you won't be able to make your designs at all? Aloth, you stay and watch the shop. I'll go talk to the supplier myself. And it's pretty like I'm uh, guessing Uf uh, spread like a lot of falsehoods and use some connections to like the get in defamatory article about her particular out. Though I'm surprised that like if it's like an article that's already spread all, all around the Fontaine and the guards know that he's like doing that stuff or like had done incidents like this before they're not already on to him. And hey there, Shana. Can I see you here as well? I'm doing all right. Wait, what? <sighs> what is it? What does the message reflect you for? Like to learn the proper etiquette, I'd be happy to teach you. 
Yeah, I removed the timer because I don't know what like uh what's the boss code here for. Okay, I'm I'm gonna disable that this bad word phrase because I'm not sure what it's catching. And it's really annoying me, what the fuck? My bot, my chat bot is catching bot stuff, and I'm not sure why it's doing that. Being too popular can be such a I'm sorry about it. Who knew the people would adore me so much? I did, I disabled uh, um, that particular like uh, like blacklist because. I'm not sure what issue is having with it, but it's like... <laughs> it's just falsely flagging for like... For, the well if you'd like to learn the proper for like random stuff, even though you're not like using any phrases I've blacklisted. And I'm not sure why it's doing that. No, no, I did. I disabled that particular like, module right at the moment. It may have been. I just disabled. Uh, just disabled that, so the bot can't block that anymore. <laughs> but it shouldn't flag you for a queue because a queue, like the phrase "the queue," is not blacklisted. So it shouldn't be. But the bot may do it anyway. And it, okay. I disabled that module and it's still doing it. I'm a disconnected bot for today. It's like, it's doing stupid shit. I'm not sure why. So I'm a disconnected for today. Like it's annoying me to hell. So it also means I can't use my chat commands today and everything, but better than that than it's just like randomly time outing people for like stuff it shouldn't be doing. <laughs> not not just you. You're not the only one who has been like falsely flagged by the bot today. I just like added some like extra phrases to like phrases so it would like um for it to like probably flag some of those people who like ad try to advertise themselves on my chat but the bot is I was adding like those um yeah blacklisted phrases the bot is just going rogue as it looks like with like time outing people. <laughs> I have to look it over and see what the issue is there. And no, this is actually just a sword modded over. Um It's actually just a promodio chat cutter.
Okay, all this like Google bot stuff actually like um, made me not pay as much attention to this story, which also annoys me. <laughs> but I guess we're going after this stuff. Of course. I wouldn't do anything to one of my business partners, especially. It's the outfit from Ringo of Soul Hackers 2. Who is it? Venger, it's Chiori. <sighs> We've worked together all these years. The least you could do is allow me a face to face conversation. <laughs> Straightforward as always, I see. You know, there are certain conventions people usually follow if they want to seek someone's company. Sending a messenger, for example. And when has following convention ever gotten me anywhere? Why hire a messenger when I can just explain things in person? Hmm. Have you read the papers today? I don't like to waste my time on baseless lies and speculation. Maybe that's something you should consider as well. Um... Why is it the text box is way too big? But uh, uh, eh, eh, just wanted to have this as an info. Just so people know. You're right. I only subscribe to the Steambird. And most days, I never even read the others. So, these rumors. The Steambird was the one that published them? No, not at all. They were in some second-rate fashion tabloids. Well then, there you go. Those sort of headlines become old news faster than you can read them. Surely a bit of tabloid drama isn't worth cutting off my supply. <sighs> You would think that, but this time is different. Someone paid off the tabloids to publish the same article at once. They even went so far as to leave a copy in front of every house. That's how I first learned of the rumors. Every house? That means someone must have been planning this for a very long time. It seems your rival really pulled out all the stops this time, Shiori. The article was even published alongside a photo of you. It's an original outfit, but based on like um, the uh, Lantern Ride festival outfits and such. But yeah, it's um, originally made outfit by the um, model. What sort of photo? Uh, a photo of you beating up someone on the street yesterday. Yesterday? Wait, that means... <sighs> Uchair again. Here. I've got a copy. See for yourselves. Okay. Joya Boutique. Darkness disguised behind a facade of fashion. Joya Boutique, located with an our good court of Fontaine, claims to be a clothing store with a unique style. But there's another side to this tale for those of you who look beneath the facade. Sources in the photos of Mary Pete say that not a few cameras have posted of a Juria Boutique's clothes. I just felt that the atmosphere in there suited me. Convicted felon liars said. 
These words met with wide approval from many of his fellow inmates. Our sources also state that a prisoner who was recently convicted of violent contact and battery also openly supported theory designs a year ago. Upon close investigation of Teoria's many suppliers, we discovered that there is something more to be dis to the discovery that criminals favor its wares. The boutique is in truth comparable to an invisible hand, like a spider's web that connects these evil doers. Our investigations show that the Venture family supplies the ornaments that adorn her design, and a certain member of his household is a frequent guest at the fortress, but do birds of a feather not flock together? Not only that, but many customers have also been subjected to rough treatment at Shioria. Mr. Valerian had this to say. A real brute, that one. Never mind refusing to tailor my clothes. While she seized her sisters and began wreck, uh, wrecking them. And threw me out the window. A clothing store? More like a feast later, if you ask me. Doubtless, many of you may have worn out why the glass at the Giora boutique often shatters with a loud crash, leaving behind a terrifying, me uh, terrifying mess. Mr. Valerian's unfortunate encounter unveils the truth. Just the day before this report was going to print, another such act of brutality, brutal battery occurred on the streets. Just imagine if you would, the scene playing out as depicted in the, phone above, uh, in the photo above. Jury, her countenance terrifying as she grabs her competitor, Mr. Ufo by the scruff, making threatening gestures towards him. This incident was ultimately broken up by the guards who reached the scene. When he asked criminals why they appreciated this brand, the answer we received was that Chioria employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to evildoers among us that wrongdoings can still prevail. Prevail, provided you conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. Perhaps those who purchase clothes from this establishment may, following the establishment's philosophy, prefer liquidate those with whom they have disagreements. A story boutique indeed applies blindly flattered by fashionistas that keep an exclusive clientele of crooks. Damn, she's getting flamed, yes, but you. You really can't like tell, like it quite sounds made up for the most part. Like every read through this, you really can tell it's like sounding made up, and like also the first part. Why would it matter if people in the fortress of Mary Pete would wear her clothes just because they were customers of hers before? If they got convicted in them, then that well, that just happened. Nothing she can do about it. And I'm not even sure if this would even be true. And like people also usually don't have like easy access to photos of Maripede, so how can you like really get that statement out of them? And I mean you may can make the accessories yourself, but you need quite a lot of few different skills to make accessories than to like make clothes. Um, especially if you want to make like high quality, high quality ones, they they go a different kind of craftsmanship into making accessories and like tailoring fabrics and everything. So she would like need to learn like a whole different like skill set for that. Behind the scenes, the true Chioria boutique takes shape. Not a fashion house, but a house of lies. Relying on its close ties to the criminal underworld, the Chioria brand employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to the evildoers among us that wrongdoing can still prevail, provided you conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. I don't know what happened. And I don't want to comment on things that I didn't see with my own eyes. Still, that photo shows you to be the clear aggressor. Yeah, he was the one who started it, that little... I appreciate you standing up for me, Paimon. But it can't be helped now. That's right. The court of public opinion has already made up its mind. Still... I've got to give your rival high marks for effort. 
They even dug up the fact that my father once served time in the fortress of Meripede. But that was so long ago. In the world of fashion, your past is like a piece of clothing stained with mud. Once tainted, it can never be washed clean. That doesn't only count for like the fashion industry, it just counts for like social medias and content creators and, and all of like people doing social media stuff in general. You always have like people with ill intentions trying to dig up like stuff from like decades ago just to frame you with silly things. This is, yeah, this is literally modern cancel culture. And they forget like one important fact people can change. <laughs> Digging up facts from like 10 years ago sh shouldn't be like a valid fact for like canceling someone anymore. Especially if like those 10 years ago were like people being in their teenage years. Teens do, uh, teens do stupid stuff. And kids as well. That's just normal. Everyone has done stupid stuff in their teen years. <laughs> they claim that most of your clientele are criminals and that those who buy your clothes are just like you. People who silence all dissent with violence. The absurdity. I don't even know which part to laugh at the most. Well, it's no laughing matter. Maybe your clientele are criminals. Maybe they're not. There's even the possibility that they're just people who happen to commit crimes after buying your clothes. But with the way this article combines fact with rumor, trying to determine the truth is practically an exercise of futility. It's not something people are just going to forget about in a day or two, especially when they've found several people to back up their claims. Venger, are you sure you won't reconsider? If we go through with the show together, we can defeat them fair and square. <laughs> if I were younger, I might have said yes. But I'm no longer that brave young man with nothing to lose. I've got the family business to consider now. I'd be perfectly happy to work with you again after this. But my daughter is manning the store during Fashion Week. And I don't want her implicated in all of this. She doesn't deserve to be swarmed by all that negative publicity. I... understand. Let me offer you a piece of advice, Chiori. For old time's sake. Let this fashion week go. There's always yeah, she shouldn't. Here. You just need to wait for all of this to blow over. You're free to wait things out, Venger. I'll make my own choices. Have you ever thought maybe that attitude of yours is what's gotten you into all this trouble? Have you ever thought maybe this attitude of mine is precisely what paved the way for my success? Well, fair enough. Then I suppose all there's left to say is... Best of luck. As for the models... None of them wanted to be implicated in all of this either. Understood. Take care. We should like just drag out Uva onto the stage and like expose the slides. So, um, what should we do now? Without the accessories, I can no longer use my old designs. Ugh. How could they do this? They're making things up. The boutique doesn't have anything to do with violent criminals. Can't people tell this is just a bunch of lies? Public opinion has never been about what's true and what's not. It's about echoing the loudest voice in the room. I should have seen it from the beginning. Uter knows me too well. Everything that happened yesterday was just a trap. Well, guess all we can do is just head back for now. Hmm. Traveler! Paimon! Charlotte may actually be able to help us. Charlotte, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? You mean that sorry excuse for an article? Oh, just thinking about it makes Paimon's blood boil. You too, huh? 
Whoever wrote that article must have known the Steambird would never print something so defamatory. Unfortunately, not all papers in Fontaine share our same sense of journalistic integrity. Miss Chiori doesn't deserve to suffer all this baseless slander. I was just about to find some people to interview so that I can write an article to refute all those claims. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who misrepresent and distort the facts. I feel like the side quest is hitting a bit too hard in our current like IRL circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> like what Charlotte is saying is also sadly true for uh, many other like journalistic institutions out there. That's great! With your help, we might be able to get some people back on our side. It's my pleasure. I've met Miss Chiori several times. I know she's not the kind of person that article makes her out to be. She was the one who made the hat and tie for my camera, Monsieur Verite. Speaking of Miss Chiori, do you know where she went? Alof told me you were all together. Uh, she was just here. Uh, maybe she went over there? Let's go check! If you ask me, I think Chioria Boutique is done for. I mean, what did they expect? Engaging with criminals behind their customers' backs. They kept up a solid front, though. I've even bought from them before. Really? How was it? The owner was plenty fierce, that's for sure. Makes sense if she regularly deals with criminals, I guess. I've got the chills just thinking about it. It just shows how easily like people like how easy do you just expect uh, accept stuff like that and don't even question it. Oh no, we've lost her. Ugh. Did you hear what all those people were saying? Paimon can't believe they bought all that nonsense. Miss Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot of interviews, so the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little extreme sometimes. It's easy to use that to mislead people who don't know anything else about her. Oh, this is all Lutera's fault. Paimon would pick him up and throw him across the room too if she could. Wait a second. You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? You know, so she can, uh, finish what she started? <laughs> that would only make the situation worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that, too. You've got a point. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there, then. Elav, we're back! Oh, who's this? She was there because of her uh, wedding She's dress earlier. To see Miss Chiori. Oh, you were the one who came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? Wait, please don't say you're returning that dress too. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to help her out, I'd be more than willing. Ah, so you've come across that article as well. Yeah, you probably don't know this. But after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Uh, why? My fiancé owns a small business. It doesn't bring in a lot of Mora, but we get by. After he proposed, he took me to Chioria Boutique, and we put down a custom order for a dress. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chiori's clothes, and how pretty they were. Being able to wear one of her dresses to my wedding has always been my dream. And then? And then, something happened to the business. And we ran into major Mora problems. We were able to scrounge up enough to pay off our debts, but... It left us without the funds to pay for the dress. But didn't she already say she was able to make the dress from what was left of the original deposit? Yes. When I came to cancel the order... She asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out, and then told me not to worry. 
She assured me that the deposit I paid would be enough for the dress. And that... And that she'd be able to finish making it in time as well. Aww, she that's promised weird. that I'd be able to wear a Chihoria dress on my wedding day. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I've always known Miss Chiori to be a woman of her word. It is good. It's just... After I went home yesterday, I couldn't help but take out the dress and try it on. My fiancé happened to walk into the room and... And when he saw me, he froze on the spot. Ah, what a shame. He's not supposed to see it until the wedding day. Well, see, that wasn't actually the issue. He's seen a lot of wedding dresses in his time doing business. So as soon as he saw it, he knew for sure that it must have cost far more than what we paid. Huh? So wait, that means... Yeah. Miss Chihori covered all the costs and held nothing back. The fabric, accessories, beading, construction... It was all of the highest quality. Huh. Miss Leticia. I'd really like to use your story for a piece I'm writing about the boutique. Would you mind going on the record? Huh? Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. Charlie is really going to help us out. Your real experience is more powerful than all those lies combined. Hey, Ayla! Has Chiori come back here since we left? Huh? I thought you were all together. Well, we were. Um... If she didn't come back here, then do you know of any other places she could have gone? Um... Oh, I remember now. There is this one cliff by the sea. Miss Chiori would always go there whenever she was upset. Hmm. In that case, why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Leticia, and you two can go look for Miss Chiori. All right, sounds good. Let's go. Well, like, uh, Uber used some, like, of his connections to, like, bring out the article, but it also helps that we have, like, um, quite a renowned journalist as one of us, uh, as our friends. <laughs> as a countermeasure to that. <laughs> and if like the scene bird has a higher reputation, it could also like sway public opinion about all of the Chi uh Chororia boutique mess. Did you know where I... Ah. Uh, Eloth told you, didn't she? She did. We were just looking for you at the shop and Leticia was there. She wanted to thank you for the dress. So, you see? You don't have to be sad. We'll figure out how to get through this together. Uh, I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Wanna sit here with me? The view's quite stunning. Uh, sorry about that. I'm the only one here most of the time. All right, don't mind if we do. Well, how does it feel? This place is pretty great. Right? It's quiet and open. And far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators and the media. <sighs> it's just you and the beautiful scenery. That's a nice yeah. shot, shot of Chiori. It's important to take yourself out of that kind of stressful environment every once in a while. <laughs> I didn't grow up in a very strict family. My parents would joke that I grew up to be so assertive because they spoiled me as a child. Quite a nice shot in general, actually. Uh, or like, scene. I would get together with the other children to climb trees and explore caves. One time, I even climbed over the walls of the Kamisato estate. One of the servants had to physically remove me. Whoa, Paimon would have never imagined that! <laughs> but even as rambunctious as I was, when it came to needlework, 
I was as quiet and focused as could be. It was as if I discovered a whole new world within those vibrant, dazzling fabrics. You know the feeling? Uh, sorta. My parents I noticed. Do. And they sent me to study under a famous Inazuman tailor. It wasn't long before I had driven away pretty much every master tailor on the archipelago. You could say I really tried their patience. You were that misbehaved? <laughs> I wasn't misbehaved, exactly. I just often had strange ideas when it came to fashion. Ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. Uh. On top of that, ugh, I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. Anyway, a few incidents later, I soon found myself without a master. Worse, not one shop was willing to hire me. Not even to do grunt work. No wonder you left Inazuma. I was angry and frustrated. So, before I left, I swore to all those masters that my brand would one day become renowned all over to that. Well, that's a great dream to strive towards. After that, I came all the way to the Court of Fontaine, a city often referred to as the capital of arts and fashion. Funny thing is, though, usually people like that have like this, often have like this entrepreneurship spirit and like actually often get shit done. <laughs> I had a lot of fun starting out. Sure, I was living in a small cramped room, but I was finally free to make whatever I wanted. I had a far more naive view of fashion back then. As long as something was pretty, it would become popular, right? A simple concept, surely. Of course, as I spent more and more time in the industry, I learned nothing was ever that simple. Least of all, fashion. Oh, you mean Letitia? Yeah, she did mention that dream. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I ever heard something like that from one of my customers. Who would have thought? Even as I continue to pursue my dream, my work has also become someone else's. <sighs> All right, that's enough sightseeing for one day. Time to come up with a way out of this mess. Ooh, looks like you've got your game face back! Back? It was never gone to begin with. I did say I wasn't upset, didn't I? Paimon thinks we should look for evidence that Uter wrote that article, and that he hired those treasure hoarders to attack Kirara. Charlotte's already working on an article to address all those nasty rumors so we can publish all our findings in the Steambird once we're done. I don't like duking it out in the press. <sighs> but if Charlotte's thrown her hat in the ring, I won't stop her either. <laughs> I know where Uter's clothing factory is located. It might be a good place to start looking for some evidence. Oh, we're gonna do something for Dragon. That's good. We'll come with. As for Fashion Week, well, there's always next year, right? So there's no need to be too upset. I think she would well, put through someone. When did this become an either-or situation? Find incriminating evidence or participate in Fashion Week. <laughs> I'm doing both. Oh, and enjoy your nap. <laughs> Have a good one. Didn't you say your designs were unusable without them? Well, it's true that I haven't quite figured out what to do about that, but... To tell you the truth, even here in Fontaine, every time I see the sea, I can't help but remember Inazuma and the vow I made in front of those masters. Thinking about all that, I just... can't bear to take even one step back. <sighs> The sea. Hmm? What did you just say, Chiori? The sea. Seashells, coral. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, got what? Come. Let's take a dip, shall we? Uh, Chiori! Oh? I I used to think what's going on. All right.
Oh, let's take a dive into Drizzy, as she said. Shiori, why did you just jump into the sea all of a sudden? Paimon, what do you think is the most beautiful thing in the sea? Uh, um, a Lumi Twelve? Or a Pearl, maybe? Oh, Coral's pretty, too. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it now! You want to use things like that as the accessories for your design! Well, now that you hit the nail on the head, help me grab some, would you? Leave it to us! Is it? Yep, yeah, it's on a stone. Okay. These should be enough, right? Paimon picked all the prettiest ones in this area. Chiori, will these do? Hmm. <laughs> Everything looks great. I've also collected a pretty big batch, so we should have enough. Great! So are we gonna head back now and make some new designs? Yes, but don't forget. We've got more than just the designs to worry about when we get back. Okay, we've got the materials for the accessories. Next, we'll need to use what we have on hand to create some new outfits. You mean we have to start from scratch? Will there be enough time? I should be able to make it, if I skip out on sleep. Oh no, skipping out on sleep is not the answer. Wait, how come this conversation is giving Paimon major deja vu? <laughs> <laughs> I like this answer that it's actually sounding so not to Ganyu. <laughs> it literally is what Ganyu does a lot. <laughs> Ganyu? Who's that? A friend of ours who does way too much overtime. Indeed. Well, anyway, sleep is important. You're not going to convince Paimon otherwise. <laughs> well, I can't argue with you there. One thing's for sure, though. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. <laughs> All this grit and determination. It reminds me of the first fashion week I ever participated in. What else can we help with? Uh, let me see. I suppose all there's left to do is tear up all the outfits currently on display. You got it! Uh, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> you heard me. Tear them all up. When I went to that first fashion week, I had no savings to speak of. Just a few dozen yards of fabric and a dream. I had to make something work, so I tore up all the clothes that I brought with me from Inazuma, and I used the scraps to make my entries for the show. I used the larger pieces for the base fabric and the smaller pieces for accessories. If it worked back then, why not now? We can also repurpose some of the ready-to-use accessories in the shop as well. She's gonna work even harder on them I now. Know. That's why I refuse to let it all go to waste. I'm not going to let them win. Even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Um, okay, then... Here goes nothing. No need to be nervous. I won't hold it against you. Of course, if anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. Just this once, though. I think I can make an exception. Go ahead and tear them up. Think of it as a good way to vent your emotions. Wait, is he saying by tearing them, actually like hitting them with a sword? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess that's one way to one way to tear up clothes. I thought he would be doing that in like a more controlled way. <laughs> good job. That should do it. Chiori, are you all right? Sorry for taking so long. I got caught up and... Whoa. What happened to your shop? Who did this? Those monsters. Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even sent people to wreck your shop. Give me their names. Since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes, I think it's about time the Spina de Rosa <laughs> returned the favor. There's a business study going on, Avia. Uh, huh? 
Ugh, what is this, a soap opera? I was the one who asked the traveler to tear up the outfits. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. Oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself just now. <laughs> yep, Back to what you were doing, everyone. You can all just pretend like I didn't say anything. Navia sure is scary when she's angry. <laughs> if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a false accusation. No one's going to orchestrate some conspiracy to take down one of my friends and get away with it. You and Chiori are really close. Of course. Everyone knows that Chiori makes the most gorgeous outfits in town. All of the Spina di Rosula's formal wear is custom tailored here. Now, if only you'd give me the contract for your uniforms as well. <laughs> as if you'd enjoy designing something as boring and formulaic as a uniform. That's why I didn't ask you in the first place, silly. Plus, with how much your intel has helped us out in the past, to the Spina, you're more of an intelligence agency than a fashion boutique. If I had it my way, it would be the other way around. Anyway, we both know why I'm here. Tell me, how can the Spina be of service to you? If it's not too much trouble, can I borrow some skilled hands to help with some simple sewing work? I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to finish these outfits over the next few days. Oh, no problem. I've got a few of those guys all ready to go. I just knew you wouldn't be intimidated into withdrawing from this year's show. When are you going to get started? I can help with sewing, too. Actually, there's something else I'd like to ask of you. Oh? Ask away. I'm all ears. Oh, and Traveler and Paimon, could you help me pass word to Linny and Lynette? I'll need their help as well. Hmm. Interesting. I'm done with my interview. Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? No! Oh! What happened to the boutique? <laughs> Who did this? Give me names. I'll make sure it's <laughs> a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow. <laughs> of course he's doing the same thing as I'm in it. Of course. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Chill out, people. What should we do about these clothes everywhere? Need any help? Sort them by the type of fabric first, and then by color. Oh, and don't forget to remove any accessories and put them to the side. That sounds pretty straightforward. I'll help too. I feel like we still shouldn't have cut them with a sword, and maybe we should have, like, tore them more controllably. Because I'm like, actually, you would just like cut him up with a sword. You're like, actually, like, risking the accessories and such getting broken and all that as well. But hey, game logic. <laughs> Usually, it also wouldn't like land on the floor, like, so packed up neatly like this. <laughs> so, yeah, game logic. Fortuna is a nice way, especially at night. <laughs> Lenny, Lynette! Great, you're both here! A moment later and you'd have missed us. We read the article in the papers. We were just about to go find Miss Chiori. She helped design a number of our costumes in the past and even sponsored one of our performances. The time has come, it seems, for us to return the favor. Indeed it has. Oh, perfect! She was the one who sent us! In that case, I assume that there's something we can do to help. Just say the word and we'll take care of it. Okay, so it's like this. Is that all we'll need to do? Should be a piece of cake for the two of us. I'm on glad to hear it! Well then, guess it's about time we go and
and find some evidence for all the bad stuff uthera has been doing, right? She already said we shouldn't disturb her over the next couple of days. We can check in with her again once she's done with all the new designs. But the show's in another two days, isn't it? Will she be able to make the deadline? I well, bet she will. According to her, she wants to first beat Uter fair and square at the show, and then defeat him in the court of public opinion. She said that it'd be like... Uh... A two-pronged approach? Courtesy first, confrontation second. <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I guess I had a few ways to we'll say have that. Faith in her decision. We'll go make some preparations. See you at the venue in two days. All right, we're counting on you. Okay, then let's also do as Chiori said and meet up with her at Uter's factory in two days. We'll gather the evidence then. Oh, Paimon sure hopes she won't have a hard time making all those new outfits for the show. Wait, we're not actually actively going to search for, for proof. Um, all right. I guess we're just going to be waiting again. Unnecessarily, but hey. Guess this will be all right. Oh, we actually only go like find the evidence now. All right. Of course he has like his uh, clothing factory down here in like a more sus place than Jerry actually does. I think it's down. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Just a few steps left now. I've handed the rest over to Alof. We should be able to make tonight's show. Wow, that's cutting it real close. Are you sure she'll be okay without you? Don't worry. I have no intention of giving ground on either front. With the fashion show scheduled for tonight, Uter has closed his factory. This is our only chance to secure any incriminating evidence. Okay, Paimon totally gets that this is all his fault and he totally deserves it, but wouldn't we technically be trespassing on his property if we just barge in like this? His factory is usually open to the public. It may not be open for business right now, but that doesn't mean visitors can stop by for a tour. Hmm. We're just curious customers after all, aren't we? I guess that's well, one way to go about it. Put it that way. Anyway, Uter's factory is right over there. Let's hurry up and get moving. Uh, why would he open a factory over there? We have different marketing strategies. While I specialize in high-end custom garments, he prefers low prices and large sales volumes. I don't know. Maybe the rent here is cheap. But, <laughs> yeah, okay. This already tells me more than enough about what the type of guy he is. All right. Ooh. It's really creepy. Paimon would never choose to buy anything from a place like that. You make a good point. Let's all be on our guard. Yep. 
Yes, yeah, just like um, sus and like probably uh, bad marketing stuff written behind this stuff. Maybe I should have picked my uh, uh, little party, actually. There really is nobody here. <gasps> I'm not suspecting art fights in here anyway. Welcome to your visitors. Ah! Oh, Paimon nearly fell out of the air. What is that thing? A mechanical guide. They usually use a recorded tape to give you a tour of the factory. Please follow me, dear guests. Huh. We're actually getting a tour. Didn't expect that. First stop on our tour is a look at the gradual evolution of our clothing brand. Uh huh. Looks basic. After that, we welcome you to peruse our most popular styles. Huh. Voltaire well, seems to be doing pretty well for himself, doesn't he? Why would he feel the need to bother you when he could just focus on improving his own brand? This is the studio where our designs are made. Please, take a look around at your leisure. Yep, this seems like Uther's workspace, all right. Let's see what we can find. Because why put in effort if he could just make easy money out of the stuff he already has? The key shall arrive at the city in the morning wire. Okay. It's already a good piece of evidence for us. Some examples of Ufo's old designs. There's something strange about them. Okay. Marketing expense 1,000. 100,000 more. These are the fitting rooms. Yeah. Please use them at your leisure. Huh? There seems to be something in this fitting room. Did the door just close? Hold on tight, Paimon. Ah! Why? Why is it moving? Because it's an elevator. They're not sure why a fitting room should be an elevator, but hey. And it's a long one at that. Seems to have stopped. Where did this thing take us? It seems like we're someplace deeper inside the factory. Quite flooded in here. Look out, there are guards here. Look. Cut to the chase. Got lucky that time. Everyone hold hands. Stand with me. Out of my way. Let my name echo in song. Speed of light. Hey! Okay. <laughs> okay, I cheesed her. <laughs> this place is filthy. Are the clothes from Uter's shop seriously made here? <sighs> Look over there. I was the one using unsafe materials, Uter. 
So he was actually the one who opened an underground factory. No wonder his clothes always felt weird to the touch. He's been using all manner of tricks here in a bid to cut costs. Should... should the clothes made here even be worn? Never mind issues with shrinking and fading. These materials can give you skin problems if you wear them too often. Huh. That's terrifying! Let's take some photos right away as evidence. This way he won't be able to try and deny anything in court. All right, let's keep going. Choose enemies that can cause her to dash forward. Okay. To dash, uh, we can read the... Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, coaching uh, can do the similar thing, but like hey. There's a path here. Follow me. Let's go up. I could do the same thing with coaching, but I... <laughs> <laughs> There's something up here. There's something up there, I guess. But it wants us to go over there. Yeah, no, that's locked. Oh, the coaching has the advantage, so cooldown is a lot lower. Coming. You did say he knew you really well, didn't you? He doesn't know yes. us well, though. And that's because we used to be partners. Wait, you're practically at each other's throats! Now you're telling us you used to work together? When I first came to Fontaine, we were both fledgling designers who longed to gain a foothold in the world of fashion. We shared the same goal. So we decided to work together. In the beginning, we both wanted to make clothes that would stand out from the crowd and shatter tradition. The kind of clothes that would turn heads and leave people in awe. But with every criticism we received, and every sponsor that rejected us, Uter's confidence disappeared little by little. Finally, right before Fashion Week, he came to the conclusion that we wouldn't be able to make the designs we always dreamed of. And we parted ways. For my part. I gambled it all. And devoted everything I had to that one week. I came out the other side with something that really made me proud. I was nervous to present it, of course. But I knew it was my chance to show the industry what I was made of. In the end, well... You received the acclaim of all Fontaine while Uter gave up on his dream and turned to making this sketchy stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know the exact details of what happened after that. All I know is, after I opened Chiore Boutique, he's harassed me every year since. <sighs> he's just jealous of what you've accomplished. A guy like that doesn't deserve your sympathy. Oh, he definitely doesn't well, deserve it. Let's focus on getting out of here first. Missing the show is as good as letting him win. Uh, there are some control panels over there. Let's see if any of those buttons do anything. Paimon likes to touch buttons, doesn't she? Oh, that doesn't seem to have done anything. Ah. Warning. Warning. Unauthorized intruders. Entering the Is it a reverb into earlier, but I Warning. Warning. Unauthorized intruders. Entering expulsion mode. 
Can somebody put right now? Wait, the air extends all the way up there. The hitbox for it? What the fuck? How mean? Got lucky that time. I'm using the wiki guide as uh, literally getting cancer the entire time right now. Don't play. Why is it canceling my inputs? Let's do it like that. And got him, X. Oh, those chambers couldn't hold you, I see. What a surprise. We've collected a bunch of evidence on all the nasty stuff happening at your factory. You're not getting away this time, Uter. The evidence on your person, you mean? <laughs> what makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? What makes you think that we can't handle these? More mechanical guards? Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate purpose? Oh, but this is a legitimate purpose. What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags. Proving that fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance. <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself that you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater to it. Focus on your own work and you get to decide what fashion means. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, you'll cater to all the voices, too, you know. After all, what is fashion but another form of public opinion? Fashion is about aspiring towards a certain ideal. But it's up to you to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. That's my ideal, and it's not going to change. I can't believe that in Chiroya's case. <laughs> At your well, case. once the people witnessed their former darling's spectacular fall, 
They'll understand how laughable that ideal truly is. That's what you've been trying to prove all this time? Your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long? You weren't like this before, Uter. What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? He realized long ago how utterly naive and ridiculous that dream was. You gave up on your dream, but that wasn't enough, was it? You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand, but you're just a bitter man who let his regrets dictate his choices. You regret giving up on your dream. So you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice. This whole thing, Uter. <laughs> it's pathetic. Pathetic? Why don't you take a look in the mirror? You're a fool daydreaming about taking all of Tevat by storm. Well, good luck doing that when even Fontaine doesn't have a place for you anymore. <sighs> You're right. Maybe all of those who pursue their dreams are fools. But more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. You... Yeah, just leave this guy to us! No, you go instead. But he has a gun! <laughs> As if she would care about it. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. Catch up with us soon! Trying to leave, are we? I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. <clears throat> but all that changed after our tour of your factory. <laughs> Still trying to talk tough, I see. No matter what you've been through, no matter why you've become like this. If I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. <laughs> Allow me to show you. The true meaning of the Chioria brand. The Chioria brand represents more than a person or a trademark. It's a way of life. <sighs> Greetings, friends at Fontaine Fashion Week. Please feast your eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today. <laughs> Brilliant, dazzling, and wholly unique. And most importantly, an enduring, never say die spirit. Why are you looking really pretty? Of the Chioria brand. And now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself. Did Chiori not? Let the show begin. The world may change, fashion along with it, but Chioria will remain the same. No challenge is too great. Chioria caters to no one. Not even the times. Rather, Chioria will always lead the fashion of our time. Finally, let's not forget. Only those who do not give up on their dreams are worthy of this brand. Well then, I suppose all that's left to say is, Happy Fashion Week, fellow dreamers. That was a cool cutscene. Uh, how about 
this? A little more to the left. Like this? Hmm. Perfect. Phew. Oh, that looks great! Miss Chiori, can I take a picture? Of course. I didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard. <laughs> I made it before Fashion Week. I figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show. Well, how can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? The Spina's way ahead of you in that regard. <laughs> you know that you oh, yeah. Perhaps our magic troop could use one of those. Hmm. Our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat Fox. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear would need an alias, of course. Hmm, how about... Ah, the Hangry Bird. Why Hangry? <laughs> so, does that mean your signboard is going to be... Two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat. Probably. Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. <laughs> and a bit cramped. Miss Chiori, I'm done taking pictures. You can expect the article in tomorrow's Steambird, along with the evidence the traveler gathered. Thank you, Charlotte. It's my pleasure. Bringing the truth to light is a journalist's duty. Going forward, feel free to custom order any accessories you need for Monsieur Verite. It's on the house. Huh? huh? You, you really mean it? A good deal of for course. Charlotte. The same goes for you too, Linny and Lynette. If you have need of any costumes in the future, just drop me a note. What about something other than a costume? Thank you, Chiori. It's much appreciated. Well, I don't really need anything. Just don't be a stranger, all right? I don't need anything either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Actually, that reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Huh? Um, about that. The Spina di Rosula has prepared a special vehicle for you, <laughs> so you can just get in and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. <laughs> what? No, that's so embarrassing. Now it likes to show off. <laughs> of course. Just hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show. Appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization. Using weaponry in public. Hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. Um, Chevras, we can explain. If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, please report them to the special patrol at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Enjoy That's what you? You nearly scared me half to death. Says the one who pulled that stunt earlier. How about you do me a favor and tell me in advance next time you're planning something like that? And if I had, would you have approved? No, but it would have at least spared me a whole lot of anxiety. Well, I would say I more than made it up to you, have I not? A whole underground workshop in the Flu of Sandra and the man responsible all tied up and handed to you on a silver platter. Sounds pretty thoughtful, if you ask me. All right, I won't argue with you. You can have this one. Well, friends, I would say we've earned ourselves a nice meal for our efforts. Let's go. Spina's treat. I'll have to take a rain check. I've still got a lot of paperwork to take care of, so you all go have fun. Aww. By the way, Chiori, I ran into Vanger on the way here. He had a message for you. I don't need to hear it. I'm sure the old fool used pretty much every apology in the book. I'll just visit him some other day and give him a hard time about everything. <laughs> you know him well. Thanks again, Shelfress. My pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. That was really quite an amazing show. Thank you for that. You don't say. All right, all right. Uh, follow me if you want in on the celebration feast. Come on, we're leaving. Traveler, Paimon, could you go wait for me at that place with the view? I'll let Navia know that we'll be a little late. There's something I'd like to give you. A place with the view? Oh, Paimon knows where you mean. Sure, no problem. 
Perfect. I'll be right there. A bit out of the way, but sure, why not? No, it's actually not that far from like the Court of Fontaine, actually. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, we didn't wait long at all. But what did you want to give us that you couldn't share right in front of everyone else? Here, take this. Oh, wow. A brooch. And in the style of Chioria Boutique, too. <gasps> wait, Paimon gets one as well? Aw. I've only made two for now. After much consideration, I decided to give them to you two. You showed him off proudly. <laughs> You've been a great help. Even when things were looking bleak, you stayed by my side. There were even times when I felt like I had to fight back and win. Even if it was just to honor the trust that you had in me. Well, we may have helped a little, but Paimon would say you deserve most of the credit. This result, it was all you, Chiori. I know for certain that was not the case. I've chased my dream for so long that I've come to understand something. Apart from conviction and persistence, the thing that matters most is having friends who believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself. A single person can only do so much. Without all your help, Chioria Boutique could have easily fallen to ruin. Well, Paimon doesn't think it would have ever gotten to that point. Not if you had anything to say about it. But, um, about the stuff you said at the show, you aren't worried it'll rub some people the wrong way? <laughs> That's a sure my words are a little pretentious, but they do reflect how I truly feel. I won't bow or scrape before any force in this world, much less any individual. I'm confident in the quality of my work. Create something beautiful, and there will always be people who appreciate it. True. Well, guess there's nothing to worry about. Then, should we go back and join them at the victory feast? Oh, yes, of course. But before that, I'd like to admire the view for just a little while longer. You know, of all the nights I've spent in Fontaine, I'd say this is the loveliest by far. Why well, if a lot of friends come together and help you out in a moment of crisis? It's always a nice moment to have, to enjoy the victory after. So, understandable. <laughs> All right. Mm. I'll take a short bathroom break, um, and then after that we will actually go check out the event. So I'm gonna be right back in a moment. So, there I'm back again. And yeah, that's already said. Let's check out the wind. Uh, thank you. Actually, going back to Monster after like a long while. <laughs> Hey, there is a been a while. Oh, it's you, cutie. <gasps> to what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library, or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? <laughs> Why is she always talking so suggestively? Uh... <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. <laughs> Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, 
You're actually busy with work? That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. She is quite a flirt, yeah. It's rather exhausting. But hey, that's why also many actually quite like Lisa. What's <laughs> it? There's so many horny people out there in the casual community. <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? <laughs> what do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? It's not polite to pawn off your work on people it. you know. Is that a no then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together. And you would of course be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. I'm curious as to if they will like leave some lore hints regarding to Canria in this. Since like the last time like Alchemy really has been very important was for like Dragon Spine with Albedo and like Albedo has connections to Canria. And all the alchemy stuff actually like comes from Canria, so yeah. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day, so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use, and the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. So we're gonna do public surveys or what? But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, hmm. it's like killing two pigeons with one stick! Smart idea, Lisa! Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. When I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Oh, uh, maybe. You make it sound nice and all, but Paimon you're just looking for a way to pawn off your wood. <laughs> I guess this is, uh, I wouldn't deny that. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Mm. 
Wait, where did I get pine wood from so randomly? Huh? <laughs> why did I just get randomly pine wood? And why is the potion shop so potion shop so like far off from the city? <sighs> this is the shop. Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. And what did Klee do? Probably fish blasting. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? All right. This is like actually gonna be like a potion maker mini game stuff. I guess. Press ingredients and cover more area to increase the tuning rate for this concoction. When you tune rate reaches 100 or higher, you can con uh, concoct the potion and receive finished products. Actually, okay. Now I'm wondering. Or what I what I would like want to pay attention to if they like um, copied the system from arts from the RTLA games or not. Uh... I think you could improve this a bit, but hey. It's more than it actually needed, so yeah. It gives, it does give me a TD wipes. You initially have uh, one chance to concoct con con a potion each operation cycle. By using more ingredients when concocting a potion, you gain more can be level experience and potion ingredient experience. There's a chance to create an even stronger potion. Make good use of your opportunities to con concoct potions. Okay. Oh, looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Certain conditions have been met, you can spend funds to improve your final potion products. And one can be sold for a higher price. Here, all special char characters will not change. Ah, okay. Looks 
like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Okay. I see which portions are saying whether that will be configured. Oh, just which portions are the most in demand. Okay. Oh, seems like everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kind of hard. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Just wondering where she is sourcing them from, but hey. Um, good dance coming up with Nidia's for to ensure love battling. Don't know if wants to flush or the second half. Yeah, fresh rice grow more lushly. Okay. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. All right, cutie. Why don't you get started? And yeah, then the next one is like, like pushing strength for like health. <laughs> Different cultivation areas can be assigned ingredients separately. After a certain number of operation cycles, your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Once you've completed the service, the cultivation area will automatically cultivate. The previous selected ingredients, which of course will not be saved if you change the ingredients side. Okay. You can unlock more cultivation with ingredients. You'll also be able to go to the world's food spots after expand fast on the next one. Creation area allowing you to. Okay. like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, uh, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Huh. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Ah, I might knew this would happen. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the logistic company, Knight. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and her loyal attendant. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land! <laughs> um, one small correction though. Paimon's her companion, not her attendant. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. <laughs> it's just like something out of a novel. Well, we're in a You're game, so... <laughs> legends at this point, um... <laughs> I'm a bit jealous, actually. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure, like one of those knights you read about in stories. <laughs> Seems like a really fun life. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, at least. <laughs> anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. You're in luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. Mm. The chunky cat bottle? Okay. Getting expensive.
Sister, sister. <laughs> All right. That was a funny looking Paimon. Operation Sandbook. Use Operation Sandbook to actively end the current Operation Saga. Resting on Lita's check can also achieve the same result. Reach that for your task and can decide to get in contact your objectives. Okay. I'm placing you you can cause the portion to gain efficacy barriers of different types, including situation and so on. If you can see, uh, but it is the highest which of the portions type and great. Good beginner, intermediate are special. Okay. okay. Oh, that was not sufficient to reach an next portion grade, will be converted to portion level of okay. Okay. I feel like we want to use a lot of these. I feel like a puzzle is better, but... Uh. Mm, that's from Lucky Bonus, okay. Go to your face and on the tuning rate. Must be stuck before they can be sold. They cannot be stuck for the sale at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, it's up to finish this one. Waste on sale. Check it out. Okay. Alright. 
Any more I can do? Both work nicely. this from you um, you're gonna buy a cat bottle because why not for me cutie you'll need to consult the news of the market to determine what i already took the liberty of compiling the have a question for me cutie well if there's any Okay, this is still like the same for those. Okay. <laughs> the Venusians also have ten different characteristics, including Rama endurance and so on. If two or more of the corresponding queens are added, the portion may also gain this character. The initial portions can have up to two characteristics. All right. Hmm. And let's push up uh, another strength portion, I guess. Are you studying warm endurance? And also endurance. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I only they can Okay. Create one potion a day. Alright. Like one potion a cycle. I guess I can push the cycle again. Anything with ten thousand? <laughs> I 
Let's cultivate you. Harvest all. And I'm gonna put you in. Did you charisma? Sure. If the two highest efficacy rares are of the same grade and reach a certain standard, a com combination portion will be produced. Ah. Also, we get a cauldron upgrade. It is quite chill, but also like, um, I said it's giving me RTG vibes because like RTG is a game where you like do lots of alchemy stuff. It's also really chill. And it's just, but it's also mainly like resource management stuff and more chill type of gameplay. Um. I think we're already done for this saga. Give me rewards, thank you very much. It doesn't matter what potion I do, all of them are good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, a draft spring is recruiting hunters to hunt an exceedingly speedy and scholars from the cipher. Okay. I guess we can go to those again. Also, my side and fun of stacking ingredients. Each time you're gonna make a potion, they will be square and which will be able to stack to. Oh. Okay. 
So, we want speed. I keep putting them cat po in cat bottles. <laughs> or I was at like a mean thing today. Um, it had like a bee like getting stuck in my hair and I didn't notice and I just noticed something was in my hair but I didn't notice it was a bee. So I just tried to like get it out of my hair and of course it like stung me. It's also like my first time actually getting stung like by a proper bee. It just hurt for a little bit. It didn't do much after that. Still was a bit annoying though. If it's the max I'm running a short three for the minute, which is sweet. But I can buy from you now. As I said, I didn't do much and just hurt for a bit and um, have like no issues with feeling a bit of pain, so. Uh, It didn't really do much in the end. It didn't, could we have it by two? Focus on strength and these. Hmm. 
have a big focus on strength for the constitution. <laughs> yeah, understandable that you want to that you want to eat barbecue now. So we should have like almost potion for almost every need now. Yeah, it has been pretty sunny the uh, past few days. So I kind of crave that. What often, what often annoys me with barbecue though know, is just like the fact that usually people you don't do barbecue that great. <laughs> but yeah. So we have like this mix. Clearing charisma, yeah, right. I feel like barbecue culture just isn't as strong here as in like other countries. Guys, yeah, like in other countries, they like do a lot of like more cool stuff with it. Mm, I'm not that bothered with insects, really, so that's, uh, I don't really mind.
<laughs> Come on, stop like picking up other ingredients I do not want to pick up. I've just even be for a moment, they will just go away on their own. It's not even that bad. Those mushrooms. <laughs> Gotta be a bit more careful on letting them in on your drinks. Everything you drink is usually worse than not having them on your food, on your food, Woody. Sure, I know. Wait, you two know each other? <laughs> True, we never have seen them to go before, I think. <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Wow, you were taking the initiative and making friends? Did I not hear that right? <laughs> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being uh, hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Yes, you're oh. being a good knight, Yula. I thought we yes, were getting yes. along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. <laughs> Another fun fact. I'm German, but I don't like beer. Not every German likes beer. 
I might be the exception to the rule that like gems like beer, but yeah. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to uh, a more hands on way of getting them to calm down. In terms of alcoholic drinks? Or in general? Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in, oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. I should probably take it from here. Okay, can't I evolve? Um, for alcoholic things, it's actually whiskey and gin. Especially, like, Rocco gin. It's really tasty. And... Oh, for like non-alcoholic stuff, I uh, usually like. Uh, in terms of what, what's caffeinated, I like uh, mate tea. And for soft, usually any kind of iced tea. And something we have in Germany we call spezi. Really tasty. <laughs> Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before. And they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked our captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well... You can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I had a few too many, and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. I felt bad, Sweet. though, so... I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, uh, I meant to say earlier. Drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway... As for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. And also on top of alcoholic drinks, Umeshu is also really tasty. Japanese plum wine. <laughs> True. Fitting. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Eh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. <sighs> Let me think. Uh, oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. <laughs> it's just that uh, I have this friend... She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza, or if she just has too many things on her mind. Is she talking about Ganyu? <laughs> She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. Oh, no, I think she's actually talking about Lingua. All right, we'll get started on that order for you right away. Great, thanks for the help.
Um, about him, Monster hopes to reality put on a good show in their performance in the trick large audience. Makeup is fashionable amongst young girls and I guess charisma? How's the potion making going? Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Take all the time you mm. <laughs> Okay. What could have a sleeve? Probably something relaxing. Is that, is that what I'm supposed to aim for? For like relaxing? I just try. Come on. Well, this is, I guess, kind of dangerous. There actually recently has been um, like uh, someone like probably be like the original version of Tetris. Or you could say 
not like probably beat, but he did mm, play the game so that like the game stopped and kind of finished. <laughs> because like the original Tetris has, actually has like no like proper ending. But it is a roundabout way to make it like freeze and end that way. <laughs> Okay, let me see if like the relaxing stuff is. How's that the potion works. making going? Hope. Oh, it actually tells you what you're supposed to do. Of course, I went for dexterity. Okay. Oh, so we just get new flowers we could plant. Was there anything else I could buy? Dress and proof card and stuff. Alright. Oh wait, I have to do it in one cycle. Uh How's the potion making going? I kind of messed that one up then. I should have checked that first. I didn't know the game would tell you that, though. And it kind of sucks. I'm all for work-life balance, but I think this is pushing it. Potion making going. <laughs> Hope you. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dormant Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. It would be nice if the game would tell you that earlier though, or then just right before you like deliver a potion, no. <laughs> it would mean that it's just hiding it behind the option where you have to say, okay, deliver a potion. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. On behalf of the reconnaissance company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. Um, 
Okay, need to reach an higher icon when I fall anyway, so I can just buy off all, buy up all the uh, uh, remaining bottles. Let's go hard on Charisma. Your bio? Where? I haven't checked that one, but oh. <laughs> okay, it's already a point where like funds are getting like already unnecessary. <laughs> um. I have not heard this stuff yet. What do I want to go hard on next? Hmm. 
Let's go hard on the strength portion, I guess. It would be get more of his could could push. It would push constitution for maybe a bit more. I would like to get a like intermediate strength and constitution portion out of this. Yep, that's also not working. Cat or dog? Uh, I probably cat. Just barely not managing it. That's a hard one, both are really nice. I actually like black and white equally.
maybe maybe why it's a bit, a bit, a bit more because it pairs a bit hell actually no it does not uh like because my like my my two more like colors above that are like uh, light blue and purple and i like, feel like black and white both go nicely with those two colors so yeah both of them equally Mm -hmm. And I'm a person who actually like prefers night over day. <laughs> night is more chill and nicer. A temporary cross, sad. So, do I even actually have you in my list here? <laughs> I don't think I see you. Or is that yours? <laughs> I mean, the only sus buyer is this one. <laughs> okay, Vietnam is also sus, but hey, I know who that is. <laughs> and I know that's not you. <laughs> you fault for even mentioning it in the fur in the first place. I mean, you only can do one portion a day for some reason. Taking a break, cuties? I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. 
The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we can use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Sweet! Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Well, of course you did. Paimon kinda thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Also, about your bio, there's probably a lot of girls with daddy issues going around at the moment, so... <laughs> Not really something I'm surprised about. <laughs> I'm on. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some way to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve: brewing, cultivation, and sales. Don't make up excuses now. <laughs> Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Looks like... All the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. Hmm... Then I guess they know you well. <laughs> uh, what, how can we XP received? Writing potion legends. Of... Oh, oh, I can upgrade them. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. the director of Demon Hunter Pro Troop is preparing to purchase a batch of mega products for the performance. Okay, guess charisma. Means for composing final pieces and other security styles. Some occurrence means to calm their spirits and then focus on research. Okay, then I guess I'm kind of relaxing potion. And of constitution probably around the this time around. Um, find friends who conspire you if it is to increase the rate. Ah. They have a good charisma one, so let's go with relaxing again.
actually reset. Confirm. Well, for you in here and you in here. <laughs> That's why I told you not to make excuses because for that reason I already doubted you from the very beginning. <laughs> I did remember that. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is quite good. Say the girls also going on about Zhongli and Ohaven and such and other like my characters being quite hot who are who are going into the daddy into the daddy types of characters. You've exposed yourself already more often than enough. <laughs> <laughs> The door eight are already set up. Aroma? I like accessories, I guess. Normal is boring. The charisma stuff. Do uh, something else with relaxing. Weird is fun. You already had a discussion, like, as long as it's, like, not getting too weird, that is fun. Uh, nah. You're not that weird. I've experienced way worse. Hey, you have multiple relaxing portions in this. What do you want from me? Yep, Rudy, you're fine. Greetings, traveler Paimon and Lisa. <laughs> I just was wondering, I already forgot that I have to skin on so gross. <laughs> Zimus, it's been a while since the last time we saw you. On the 
I hear, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects. Actually, it gives Rook more of a like, uh, proper alchemist vibe, to be honest. Just a voice isn't fitting so much of its skin, but I. <laughs> In a weird way, it suits her. <laughs> you mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I wouldn't be surprised if she became a potion master one day. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait. Was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm. Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. And I bet a lot of those people will try to make a laugh potion. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. Alchemy is cool. So... Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? It depends on what kind of funny. Yes. Although it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. <laughs> what a great idea. I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. <laughs> Confidence is a good look on you, cutie. Wonderful. Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Expert. And then Kremlin will be who? You? <laughs> To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. <laughs> I'm nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, testiness to assess your potion nearing techniques. Dick seems to be in several stages and must be in sequence. You have had three times for each stage. And one more those doing the exam will not be safe. Two must be refunded and created. Oh. The primary and secondary objective complete the primary objective to pass it doesn't complete it. You have to increase our test rating. A little bit on waiting. Okay. Uh okay. I actually wanna like screenshot this so I can have that like up on a second screen.
Just so I don't have to like keep it in my mind. Also, it's waste. So I'm just not probably updating. Not saying, not, not sure why my Twitch says my stream is supposed to be unstable, but if my OBS says everything is fine. So. And I know for a fact Twitch is the more unstable platform at the moment. So let's first buy some stuff. I want to upgrade my cauldron. Okay, you want an intermediate, Im intermediate at once constitution, potion level plus five, one characteristic and no more than three ingredients. Also, gotta check, uh, gotta pick up some ingredients first. <laughs> Constitution. That would be intermediate. Potion crate reaches an intermediate potion level for five. It has a characteristic. It would be three ingredients. Not sure if it will like reach plus five, so. Can I enhance it? Apparently not. I can't really get it like to plus five unless I like, um, level up the ingredients more. Beginner exam. Oh, I'm supposed to conduct it in here. are quite practiced and your potion meets the requirements as well congratulations on passing the beginner exam hmm, that was a piece of cake wow i really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making all right i believe i've collected all the necessary feedback looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam I'm going to head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon.
I also like the, making it screenshot was unnecessary then. <laughs> the more I, the, the more I see her in that outfit, the more I like it though. It kind of really suits her in a weird way. Um. Okay, for some reason they're not happy with the stuff that's on here. Let's see if this will be better or not. Let's see if we can get something out of this. <laughs> mosquito is just, just liking you, I guess. This is the only thing that still gets me relaxing, which is annoying. <laughs> I thought goods like blood sucking monsters, like vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, consume credence to obtain XP. Oh, okay. Um.
<laughs> it's always white with that. Oh, really? It wouldn't be enough. Huh. Yeah, well, true, Dad. Okay, uh, let's put a new one in there. Um, check if I actually can upgrade any of them. <laughs> the mosquito gotta go fast, I guess. The new potion helped. Sweet. Hmm. Traveler? Paimon? Huh. Looks like you're running a business. Oh, hey, Diona! And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him! We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion <laughs> cocktail, so... She asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm, then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. 
<laughs> That's anyway, true. I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. Well, if you already asked Yangling. He told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I feel like she could like get a lot more ideas for Echo if she would ask Yangling because she's like also using a lot of weird ingredients to create new dishes. She might have a few ideas. <laughs> and hey there, Wolf Andy. Welcome to the chat. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspawn. It was once buried in the snow, and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. I'm doing alright. Shano over there is just getting harassed by a mosquito. <laughs> Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh. Because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> oh, come on, Wendy. That still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? <laughs> what was so crazy about it, eh? Let's see if you can't, um... Yeah... Top the story Shana told last time. <laughs> Let's see huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Oh, Paimon gets what she's saying. Ahem. You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet! Uh, but what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course! Potions can add all sorts of different effects! For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. I wouldn't advertise yeah. it that much, Paimon. Potions could do something like that. Hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? <laughs> okay, it's gonna be good. It's cool. Or it is all in good. <laughs> That's right. Even if we could make one that discourages people from drinking, it would only last for a little bit before wearing off. Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. I mean, if you say, if they say they had a crazy day and they started with they skipped school, that's always a recipe, recipe for like... Um, Um, it's always like a recipe before it going getting good. <laughs> and Jesus, this is literally a crazy thing to watch. It's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? 
Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm, this may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh, sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? Perfect! <laughs> I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, <laughs> the more sober they'll become! Of course it's your friend's mom. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay, what did he do that he made it go that hard on him? He must have messed up badly if it turned out that way. have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Mm, okay, swift swimming. Constitution and seasickness. Okay. Hey. So, how's the potion coming? Finished yet? Wisdom and steady. Appropriate. Appropriate, yep. <laughs> yeah, Twitch actually flagged you for that, but I permitted it because I saw it, it was just a typo. <laughs> oh, I just um, not sure if it just kept the term permitted because usually it should be permitted. But yeah, I will have to check like blacklisted words and stuff like that later anyway. Um, 
want wisdom and you want steadying. <laughs> oh, definitely sounds like a crazy day. <laughs> I mean, it may have been crazy, but I guess it was more interesting than school in the end. Probably like the owner wasn't there and left it uh, unintended. Did you get at least some nice tacos out of it? <laughs> Aww. I'm all for work life balance, but I think this is pushing it. So, how's the potion coming? Monstat's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wait! Don't leave without me! I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester! Of course! <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject! <laughs> And just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, if I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. So what? Um... So, let me actually see... Which I have inside of this picture I have more than enough of.
Um, I can get rid of you. I'm already few, I'm already few. You as well. Guess I can take you out. Can I see about an next cordon improvement or oh, level 12? <laughs> Guess you have to go for a mosquito hunt before you go to sleep today. Wait, what did we need this time? Swift constitution and seasickness. Okay. Stop more. Mm How -hmm. do this? <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. That we can start with the next cycle, I guess. Ooh, those are a lot of profits. Right, I those. To, oh, what? Mm. 
<laughs> Good luck with hunting them then. <laughs> Small Shauna can't catch them. Sad. You said it was more on gun catcher. Blushies don't have Im enough impact to actually like hurt him though. Winning? I guess I'm, do I'm making a lot of money with potions. It would be more efficient if we would throw something that it would also actually kill them immediately. Just saying. Sam will also be a walk in the park for you. Well, ready to begin? Okay, strength and dexterity both in intermediate should be easy. Two characteristics should be easy. Yeah, come on.
<laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> no, that would actually be too much. Space to carry J and immediate up dexterity and strength. Easy. Let me see. Yep. Looks like your potion meets the requirements. You've passed once again! <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this! I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please, take this for your trouble. A lot of extra money. Don't worry, care about it. Uh... What should I get? I didn't even pay attention did I get a wood did I get a weapon in you? Also can refine you.
Let's see. Let's do one more pull for GRA. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> with the last 10, 10 pull of the day with the free brown gems I got. Sweet. <laughs> How many tears do we need for ascending her? Uh, I already did some tempos at the start of the stream. Alright. I did more than enough already. You can you can rewatch the uh, the world after this. Um, da -da -da. So let me send you. Clean out my weapon inventory for a bit. Good. Ah, she needs the other clockwork. Well, yeah, you did win that. Actually, my first 10 pull of the day was losing my 50-50 to Chi Chi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the next 5 star wasn't sure to beat Shayori. That's why I was relatively sure to get her soon. Because I did quite a few 10 pulls after that. So, I was getting close to Chiori's pity anyway. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I already got a Mona Z6. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the Shepherd's copy, though. Mm. Here's my Shepherd's. <laughs> um, if you would have liked another Chichi copy, then, then my Chichi would also be C6. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, with that, actually, with the Tentra, I actually wanted to enter the stream. Uh, we will continue with like potion making next time around because it's already getting quite late. Um, and I also actually want to like level up Chiori, but it. <sighs> Grinding overbuild bosses is always the most annoying thing about upgrading carriers. But I guess I get at least got the, uh, a lot of the other materials I need for upgrading her, which is nice. Yep. It's already past midnight. You always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Um, so give me the key. Oh. Also unlocked tearing out. So yeah. With that being said, um, I also will like still go to trying to fix the bot after this. Or you forget it by tomorrow. Um, so yeah. 
Let's see. Anyone online you want to raid? Nope. At least not of the people I'm already following. Uh, so we got a scour again. Who and who we gonna raid? I also got this idea, you went just like a catchy theme. <laughs> it makes me keep humming along with it. Da -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. Looks interesting to read. I also find it interesting how you sometimes see people streaming in the Genshin category who have like Genshin characters as streamer avatars and like PNG models and such. Okay, maybe I can read her because just, just looking at her, she has like a really clean um, layout. A really cool PNG. Not gonna lie. So let's look into her a bit. Alright. He picked someone for rating. Um. I hope you enjoyed the stream. We will definitely continue with like the alchemy stuff soon. Um, it's actually quite a fun, chill game out. It also makes me like wanna like play an RTD game again. <laughs> they also just as uh, chill, but hey. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, and. I hope you don't mind as much the technical issues with the bot. I will definitely try to fix those until next stream so it won't cause so much issues again. <laughs> so yeah. Um, be nice over there in the raid. Give some love, give some support. And I will be seeing you again next time. So until then and... Bye-bye.